everyone and welcome back to my channel and I've been excited to film this video because it is a makeup one but it's slightly different because it is what's the word not face paint but like I don't know creative makeup not just an ordinary makeup look so I did actually put on my makeup Instagram story if I should create this for a YouTube video and pretty much everyone said yes so here I am making it now it is a space as you can tell by the title a space makeup look and I will insert um a picture of what it looked like when I did it last year so I'm hoping I can get it basically the same and I'll also put my makeup account on the screen as well so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do don't forget to leave a like and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and also turn the little bell on so let's get on with the video now this actually doesn't involve much it involves two hair bands for your space buns on your hair and it involves a eyeshadow palette and a concealer and oh, I've just dropped a brush um, I'm going to use a face paint but you can use a white pen I don't know if a white pencil work, white eyeliner, anything like that so I'm going to start off by putting my hair into space buns which I'll speed up because yeah, this isn't the main part. Excuse if I sound out of breath as well, by the way. I've literally been filming TikToks because that is my addiction at the moment. And yeah, I actually, the other day I made up my own TikTok dance. And today I made up another of my own TikTok dance. So yeah, I'll put my TikTok name on the screen and yeah go and follow check out my dances <laughs> smaller than the other because my hair's thicker that side than this side no it's popping out already right so that'll have to do so i've already got a full face makeup done ready for this video so yeah oh i was meant to take this lipstick off because i've got to put a different one off on let me just take that off quickly i was prepared for this video and then it comes to it and i'm no longer prepared so let's start i'm going to be using the morphe 35 b palette right so i think i just did a pink and a purple for my eye and then i cut the crease and put a glitter on it so i'm going to take the light pink here and literally just put that in my crease and blend it up a bit like that as well and do the same on the other eye oh if i pull any weird faces as well by the way just excuse that it's a habit when doing eyeshadow You're joking me. I'm gonna glue you back on later. Oh my god. Not happy about that. Wow. Just just wow. Um so now we're going with a purple. I'm scared to use them brushes now. Uh, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use this brush if this one survives i'm going to take i'm going to start off with taking the light purple and just putting that just in the 
crease, not blending it up. And doing the same for the other eye. And I'm just going to put it on the outer corner as well. I forgot how pigmented these shades were. Actually, I'm going to blend it up a little bit. And then just blend them in together. So don't be too worried about how your eyeshadow looks because it's going to get all blended with other makeup anyway. Now I'm going to cut half a crease. Literally just half of it. I'm just going to take my concealer and conceal, cut it. Just like that. Hasn't got to be perfect at all. So I've concealed roughly, just like that. Nothing too neat. And over that, I'm just going to apply a little bit of the white. You haven't got to do this. I just like to do it. So I'm just take my finger. Just to give it like a little bit of a powder before I apply a shimmer to it. Just like that. I think I actually added a highlighter for my shimmer. See, I don't come prepared. Pretty sure from my Jeffree Star highlight palette I used this one, I used this one here, Ice Cold. You know when things just come flooding back to you? I'm just going to take this little brush. Pretty sure it exists. Yeah, it was. These are actually so nice as an eyeshadow. I'm just going to do the same with the other eye. Like that. And then I'm just going to go back in with the purple, blend them together on the outer and just blend it. <laughs> So they are the eyes. The eyes are done. Simple as. The eyes aren't done. Underneath. So <laughs> I'm just going to take that same purple and pop a bit underneath of my eye. I'm actually going to start off with putting the blue underneath. So I'm going to take this brush here, so a bigger fluffier brush, and I'm going to take the blue here and I'm literally just going to, this is where the fun begins, apply this all under. Don't be scared. So blend, blend, blend. I'm going to do the same under the other eye. I've probably changed this up a bit from when I did it last, but we love changing things, updating things now and then. I'm going to carry on with this blue. 
and then just apply it on my nose up to here. So then you look like this. And then I'm going to take the purple with another brush. So just this brush here. I'm going to take the same purple I used on my eyes. And I'm going to apply that underneath. It's quite light this one, so you want to take a lot. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Blending it in with that blue as well, when it all blended. And the same on the nose. that so I've just done the purple roughly and then I'm going to take a, just a flat brush I'm going to apply the pink the pink underneath that so it's just light and then I'm going to take the purple again and I'm going to make that darker not blend it yet just building it up And then I'll take more of the pink. Like that. And then I'm going to blend this purple in properly with the blue so it gives the blue more of a faint effect and then I'm just going to blend the purple in with the pink as well So you've got three colours blended. You can make them however dark or light you want. I'm just going to add a bit more pink going further down. So you've done all the under eye. Now what we're going to do is add a bit of purple up here. So I'm just going to go back with the eyeshadow brush I used and then take the purple and just I'm blending it up a bit there now and then do the same with the other eye just going back down to my eyeshadow blending a little bit over the eyeshadow the cut crease, sorry. Like that. So you've got like a little line. 
Then after you've done that, just fade this up so that it fades. Like that. So I've just faded it up. After that, we're going to blend it up the sides now. So I'm going to go back with the blue and just blend it up here a bit. I am sort of changing as to how I did it last time because this was in August so I can't massively remember it so I'm just gonna blend it up here. Like that. I'm going to take the purple, blend that up. And then do the same for the other side. I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to go back here you can see it isn't really blended so I'm just going to take the pink on my do you know what I'm just going to use it like this my broken brush Go back with my brush, I use the blue one and just blend it all. And now I'm going to go back under the eye here and just add the purple again. And blend it with the blue. I'm just going with this darker one here but add just a little bit of it on that is basically the eyeshadowing of the galaxy done so now i'm just going to go back in with the highlighter with that same one I used before and just put that in my corners of my eyes and then I'm going to now do the stars just to start off with my eyes I'm just going to do little dots I say little, they'll come out big. Well, all different size dots. They look like that. And then we're going to now draw some stars on all different places of the colour so you can put them where you want so just like that wherever a decent amount of them oh wow look how well that one went this is quite a simple look 
so I thought I'd start off with this and then yeah if you want me to, well I probably will anyway whether people do or not but if you do want to see more videos like this just comment down below I was literally thinking I cannot wait for Halloween so I can do my Halloween makeup looks I literally that is my favourite time And then as well as stars, I'm just going to do some, like the dots I did up here as well. Oh, I might just add a star on my eyelid too. I might just put one here. And then same on that eye, and then I'm just going to add dots So that is literally the spike joking me. The whole paint just popped out. Why is everything breaking on this video? Oh well. And now I'm just going to do my lips. You can use any lipstick you want, but the one I'm using is this purple Jeffrey Star one, which has glitter in it, I think. You can add a highlight or glimmer, glitter over your lipstick as well if you want. Even some stars. So that is the lipstick on. I don't know if you can see the glitter in it, but yeah. So this is the finished look of the space makeup. If you guys want to do this look, do it. I'd love to see them. But yeah, it doesn't take too long either and it isn't complicated and you don't need much stuff. It's cheap and obviously you can use whatever eyeshadow palette you want and lipstick of your choice, whatever. So, and the space buns are easy and quick as well to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye!